A small settlement in northern Italy is under attack. The Italian states are divided. The Venetians are declaring war on the Pope, believing that he is a tyrant and they want to end his tyranny. They want to control all of Italy under one kingdom, the Kingdom of Venice. Now the Pope, outraged, sent one of his greatest armies to defend this small settlement because he knows if they lose this military stronghold, the war against the Venetians is going to be a long one. They've called aid from the south. The Sicilians have marched a long distance to northern Italy to aid the Pope, knowing that they will gain some political bonuses in future world conflicts, and they know that if the Venetians beat the Pope, the war will eventually come to their lands, and they will not stand for that. So they quickly sent an army north. Helping the Venetians, we have the Portuguese, because, well, they're hungry for money and blood and they're bored and they want to kill people because they're bored and they just you know they've got to get their sword wet welcome to the siege battle it is about to begin what's up guys it's pixelated apollo thanks for stopping by i hope you enjoyed that little intro that little scenario i'm gonna try to do that more often uh, i think that's a, a fun little scenario but this battle as you can tell the archers are already letting loose some arrows so it's already starting so we're going to keep it paused and go over the army comps really fast so let's go ahead and get started with the venetians the ones the the kingdom that's trying to unite italy and destroy the pope's tyranny we have uh, venice commanded by b dog 1190 he's got a lot of venetian heavy infantry which is nice to see we've got some venetian archers really cool there i love the venetians archers he's got a lot of feudal knights and he's got some broken lances so overall pretty decent number of heavy infantry the only thing that i don't really like about his army is that he's bringing a lot of feudal knights a lot of cav and honestly you only really need one or two units of cav any more is a bit much so let's go ahead and check out his portuguese ally we have portuguese the or portugal commanded by super badger 09 he's bringing some merchant cav see this is a good number of cav also it's really cheap cav so if you lose them, it's not a big deal. You didn't spend too much money on them. Uh, he's got some Pavis crossbows. He's got a trebuchet and a basilisk. He's got some pikemen. He's got a lot of dismounted conquistadors and fetal knights. A good mix. A great mix to have on the battlefield. Oh, actually, you know what? He has, he has more cav over here. So maybe he did bring a little bit too much cav. But that's okay. Whatever. Uh, let's check out the defenders now. We have the Papal States, uh, one of the finest armies that uh, the Papal States have. Uh, you know, of course, defending the northern settlement here. Commanded by Ozzy Rocker 45. He's got some broken lances. He's got some feudal knights. He's got a trebuchet trying to fight back, you know, put some pressure on the attackers. He's got some halberd militia. Let's see. Some pavies over here putting down some fire. And uh, that's the gist of his army. He's got some Papal Guard um, back here, which are fantastic. I mean, they're not really worth their price, but look at them. Look at them. They look fantastic. And then over here, the final force, we have the Sicilians aiding the Pope, helping him defend this settlement. He's got a lot of dismounted Norman Knights. Yes, I love these guys. They kind of look like Latin Con fantastic they look amazing and of course when you upgrade their armor they pretty much look like feudal knights but this unit has no upgrade at least not with armor so they look awesome so yeah norman knights oh here we go here's an example here's norman knights upgraded and here's norman knights not upgraded so if you want to go for style points don't upgrade your norman knights damn it all right and then over here we have uh some peasant archers that he's just leaving up on the walls and he's got some muslim archers so very cool so those are pretty much the armies in a nutshell let's go ahead and get started with this heated battle all right here we go and just like i was stating earlier the archers are letting loose their arrows on both sides uh, the Venetians archers are uh, trying to put down some pressure and of course the artillery here is going to try to knock down these archers as quick as possible. But you know Venice is losing some lives here. They're taking some casual casualties and it's really not necessary. Like this is not necessary to lose some elite units like the Venetian heavy infantry. Oh that just oh it hit one guy it hit two guys dead from the artillery. Uh, there goes the uh, first wall there. He's just leaving up his peasant archers, which I honestly don't think that's a terrible idea. Uh, right now, they're getting their money's worth by killing Venetian heavy infantry. 
So, you know, if he loses his peasant archers, again, they're peasants. It's not a huge deal. It's not like you put a bunch of money into this unit. Now, if it was the Muslim archers, that would be a different story. But look at this. Venice is charging forward. He's got his Venetian heavy infantry. Look at this. This is like medieval D-Day right here. Trying to charge through these walls. Taking a lot of heat. Taking a lot of fire. And uh, the Venetian heavy, if they can get a good charge off, they might be able to be worthwhile because remember the Venetian heavy infantry they have very good they have a very good charge bonus uh, but he is slowing down his troops and they're just constantly taking hits I don't know see when you're playing a siege battle and you send forward your first wave of attackers don't send your best troops save them for a later time because Venice is making the mistake of just sending up elite troops and they're just getting hit hard by cheap units and just dying left and right so send a cheaper unit like the uh, Broken Lances or something like that to absorb most of the Archer fire. Uh, but look at this. He's got his infantry ready to go. He's got two choke points open. He might... Oh, and a bunch of Archers go falling there. Now that's pretty much the last of the uh, the Archers there. So that, that helps silence some of the bows. But here we go. We've got the Venetian Heavy charging in. Both sides here. The Sicilians are forming up some form of defense. They're trying to keep them contained. Uh, is it going to be enough against these Venetian Heavy Infantry? I don't know. Uh, the Venet Venetian Heavy, very, very elite. They're very good at what they do. They've got a Warhammer in their hand. Very good at crushing skulls. Oh, man. This is, this is an awesome little battle there. So more walls are just coming down, crashing down. Portugal on the other side. He's taking his time. Unlike his Venetian allies, he's going to wait a little bit before he charges in. Uh, but this is looking pretty good for Venice. Sicily uh, really needs to send more troops here. He needs to try to prepare to hold these choke points. Because if he gives up these choke points, his archers up on the walls here are going to be exposed to infantry attacks. So, it, I mean, if you look right here, it looks like Venice is already kind of like squeaking through. Squee <laughs> squeaking through. <laughs> He's, sque he's squeezing through is the uh, vocabulary, the word I was going for. Uh, but this is a pretty good position with the Muslim archers. Oh, look at the artillery in the back there getting a, getting a volley off. It didn't kill anyone, but it looked epic. Uh, so that that's all that matters. So this infantry, infantry fight is absolutely brutal. And Venice is just overwhelming Sicily over here. Those Venetian heavy, uh, he Venetian heavy infantry, they're... They're dirty. The only thing that they're not good at is holding the line. They're not very good well, because because they have very weak morale. Uh, their morale is one of the weaker compared to other elite units like the Conquistadors. So, you know, Venetian Heavy, they're, they're more of a shock unit than a hold the line feudal knight kind of unit. Over here, it looks a little bit more even. It looks like Sicily has a better, better stronghold here, a better position. Uh, but Venice is just open to archer attack. The Muslim archers over here for Sicily getting some good kills. I mean, even the uh, Muslim archers up on this wall. I mean, look at that angle. This is a fantastic angle. Getting a great amount of kills. That is great. Look at that. They're just exposed to archer fire, and there's nothing they can do about it. But we do have some breaking troops, some dismounted men-at-arms, which is no surprise there. They're men-at-arms. Not really going to keep back a Venetian heavy. Uh, but the archers are exposed to infantry, an infantry charge here, but I just don't see it. They're just kind of sitting there taking the uh, volley after volley. Look at that. That is insane. So Venice is now free to continue on over here. And now he's got some Muslim archers engaged in melee. I think that's a big mistake from uh, Sicily. Having your archers are so important in, in city type settlements because the skirmish battle is so key to to siege battles in general, whether it be a castle or a town. I, I think it's more important in a town because there's more choke points, there's more places where you can put up your archers on the walls. And uh, what Venice needs to do right now is conquer these walls and then put his archers up on the walls, which he's not doing right now. It looks like he's just firing over the wall, which hurts his accuracy. And uh, he's trying to kill the, the choke point over here. If we look back here, the trebuchet has just been wrecked. Look at that. I don't know how that happened, but it's wrecked. I, I guess from the uh, the enemy artillery, the basilisk, or the attacking artillery. But this battle over here is uh, just 
non-stop action. And then we've got a small fight over here. A lot of Sicilian uh, broken lances trying to hold the, the gate, uh, not the gate, but the arrow tower crumbling down in the background. A glorious sight. Uh, the Venetians here, they're going to need help. It's broken lance versus broken lance, but this is an uphill battle for these broken lances. And also, look, look. The peasant archers are still up on the walls getting kills. So there goes Portugal knocking down the gates there. Oh, the fire shots, the fire uh, trebuchet over there. And look at, they're just getting easy kills on these fetal knights. And uh, wow, look at this. Sicily sent down a broken lance unit and they're just getting swallowed whole by the uh, mounted feudal knights here. So, uh, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. I mean, you don't necessarily have to kill these feudal knights because Cav is just... It's hard to use Cav effectively inside a settlement. Uh, but let's go ahead and check the other side because I think we do have Portugal charging in. He broke down a couple choke points. He's got his dismounted conquistadors charging into uh, one choke point here. And there they go. They're fighting off some Papal State feudal knights. And the Papal States are charging out. They want to meet these damn conquistadors. They want to bring justice upon them. How dare they help the the Venetians tried to bring an end to Christendom I don't know um, but there's a couple more choke points that Portugal just seems to not be interested in he's just gonna go for these two choke points which I think is a big mistake there I think he should definitely try to go through as many choke points as possible and the cool thing about this siege battle is that it's pretty much a 1v1 Everyone is having their own little battle. Nobody's really helping each other. Like, Papal States, they don't have any troops helping out the Sicilians and vice versa. So, it's all about 1v1. Who will win? Who will lose? And uh, it's really going to come down to individual battles. Uh, we do have some reserves over here. Some Feudal Knights getting in position. But let's just quickly go over. Fly over to the other side. Whee! Here we go. Oh, a little too far. Uh, the Venetians sending in their feudal knights now, trying to aid their broken lances, trying to kill the uh, Sicilian broken lances. And the music is just going so intense right now. <laughs> uh, some Normans holding the line against some feudal knights. That's an epic battle. They're pretty much the same uh, in stats. And finally, the Venetians are sending some units up to, to silence these Muslim archers, but is, is it gonna be enough? Does he have enough infantry here to silence them? I think it's a bit too late. I, I really think it, it's a crime that he didn't try to focus down these archers because again, archers are key to winning siege battle. Now, heavy infantry is really important, but archers are even more so because they can get so many kills if you can position them wisely. Uh, there's a lone Pavis guy right there, you see him? Just like standing there chilling out. <laughs> so the Muslim, this is a great position for the Muslim archers. I mean, look at the target here, especially horses. Horses are just such a big target. They're also firing at the uh, Venetian heavy infantry. And look at, the, they're just getting cut down. So even though Sicily is running low on heavy, heavy infantry, he's doing a great job on, on killing these troops here. And look at this, more broken lances joining the fight. So originally it was a Venetian, Venetian sandwich. Now it's a Sicilian sandwich. Mmm, Sicilian sandwich. That sounds delicious. Any sandwich from Italy sounds delicious. Alright, so back to over here. This little holy fight. Um, I think that Portugal is finally sending more troops through more choke points. Uh, Papal State's not really having any kind of defense here. He just has one unit of Pavi's crossbows. That's just getting a, a great volley there right in the backs of the Feudal Knights. Finally, uh, Portugal, commanded by Super Badger 09, he's going up here to silence them. There he goes. Finally, he's going to silence those Pavis. We got more People States Reserves coming in. Let's do some slow mo, guys. It's been a while since we've done some slow mo. Look at this epic fight here. Look at that. And then we've got the Swordsman Militia charging in. Oh, the arrows flying through the sky. Ah, medieval siege. Nothing is better than this. Then we got the Papal Guard joining the fight over here. That is lovely. So we'll go back to normal speed. We've got the Halberd Militia and the Broken Lances getting into position. And the whole battle right here is, is happening just right here. And again, I think the Portugal is making a huge mistake by not using more of the, uh, the choke points. I mean, he has a ladder here and he didn't even use it. So 
What's the deal with that? No. <laughs> um, but I think he's pretty much... Yeah, he sent in all of his heavy infantry. So this is it, guys, right here. Now, is Portugal going to have enough to break through? Possibly. There's a chance, but I don't think it's likely. I think the Papal States are actually going to win this one. Uh, we can see in the background the, the volleys from the trebuchet. But what they're doing is just trying to get rid of the defending trebuchet. I would rather use my trebuchet on trying to kill the defending troops here. Because they are pretty much blobbed up. But uh, we'll see. It looks like Portugal is about to run out of troops here. But let's quickly go back to the Venetian side. Because there's two fronts to this battle. Uh, we have some Sicilian Cav, the General's Bodyguard. Getting a little gutsy here. Running out. Trying to, to I guess, kill the artillery of the Venetians. But Venice, they're going to zone them out with their, their gen General's Bodyguard. And finally, Venice is having some success here. But it, is it going to be enough? Do the Venetians have enough to take over this town? They've lost a lot of troops here. We see a mass route from the Venetian uh, Venetian uh, archers here. So it looks like the uh, Norman knights were getting a little aggressive there. And I think Venice lost here at this choke point. And I think the biggest mistake that Venice made was that he was just too damn aggressive. Like, he didn't give his archers a chance. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Do you see that? That unit that was hanging out on the walls over there, getting cut down. That was a really good hit there uh, by Portugal. Very wise target to uh, focus down with the artillery. That's awesome. Glad we could see that. Um, but Portugal, they've got most of their forces here. If he can break through this flank and flank around these... Uh, these Papal States troops here, he should be able to do all right. Oh, a chain route, a great cav charge. So we actually get to see cav actually be useful in this siege environment. And he got a great, great flanking charge and was able to just chain route. Oh my God, now this is anyone's game now. Uh, sincerely, I thought the defenders had this in the bag, but Portugal, very wisely striking right at the perfect time and causing the Papal States to just chain route. The Pope would be face palming right now, just like, what? Why? <laughs> Fight? If we give up this position, the war against the Venetians will carry on for such a long time. So if you're the Venetian player right now, what you want to do is just try to kill as many as you can. Venice is pretty much destroyed. They don't really have a, a force anymore. So whatever you have left, just try to kill as many Sicilians as possible. So this is going to come down to the town center. Uh, okay, this is good over here. The Venetians are trying to fight these Muslim archers in melee. If you can get rid of the archers, that's going to be really key uh, for the Venetians. Oh, here comes a little flanking charge from some broken land. Oh, they stopped. Get in there, men. Your troops are breaking. Uh, it's too late now. It's too late. Maybe that's why he stopped running. Uh, but I think this is it for Venice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Cav charge. General's bodyguard. He's thirsty for blood. He's he's sick of these Venetians. How did... Oh, no. The, the charge. Oh, that's going to be a weak charge there. Oh, man. That is too bad. I don't know why he stopped his general there. Uh, but, you know, the great thing about Cav is that it's faster than an infantry, so he will be able to escape and do another cycle charge. Uh, let's go back over here and see what's happening. Portugal is uh, taking over this position, and Portugal still has a decent number of troops. So this is going to be a big problem for the defenders. And look at this. He's got his conquistadors running down these Pavi's crossbows. And see, uh, if you notice here, the Papal States, they're trying to run their archers up to the wall. Now, this is a really smart tactic, guys, and a lot of people don't use this tactic a lot. Cav cannot go on walls. So if you have a, a troop or a unit that's very vulnerable to cav charges, just run them up the wall and there's nothing they can do about it. Especially archers, where they can actually fight back and fire back. So uh, be sure to be aware of that kind of stuff, guys. If you can save a unit by running up on the walls, do it. Because every little single action matters in a siege battle. It always comes down to a couple of troops, oftentimes. Uh, but Sicily, I think it's safe to say that Sicily is victorious. Now, there's a couple of troops over here waiting in reserve, but this is it. Like, this is it. Uh, the Papal States, they, they kept some units back um, to defend the town center. Uh, I think Portugal is going to have enough here. 
I think he's gonna have enough. All right, guys. So I think what what we're gonna do here is there's a little low in the you know a little dull part here in the siege battle. So we're gonna kind of speed it up a little bit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna speed it up just to see uh, what Portugal does. Okay, so he's moving up his army. He's got his uh, spearmen there, his pikemen, and Venice is sending <laughs> sending their general over here. So Venice still has his general, so he's not yet completely defeated. Uh, so he's gonna send him over here to the Portuguese side. He's gonna tell them what to do, and they're like, "What, man? We're not listening to you. Your army was defeated utterly. So please, just just stay out of our way." All right. So what do we have over? Okay. So we do have some archers. Uh, a handful of Muslim archers putting down some pressure on the Portuguese. If I was the Portuguese, I don't know. I don't know how patient I would be. I think I would be pretty aggressive and just try to get my heavy infantry into the mix. But uh, we've got a small force of Portuguese going here, a small force of Portuguese don't going down the center, and uh, we have the general from Venice <laughs> just going lone wolf, just going, just going crazy, just trying to get some blood need blood I need to avenge my army and my men all right so Portugal is sending up his uh, Pavi's crossbows trying to get them uh, in a little skirmish fight and Portugal has this cav flank just going way over here I think what he's gonna try to do is flank around this back way so he's what Portugal is trying to do is try to he's trying to use every single possible choke point to put pressure on the defenders he's trying to stretch the defenders thin and Venice was trying to hide his general possibly and now Sicily is trying to hunt him down try to try to get rid of him once and for all but uh, nope he's gonna escape Portugal is gonna send some spearmen this way to defend and look at this guys all right we'll go ahead and do normal speed Sicily has now now open to attack these Pavi's crossbows not a good sight there usually you want to have some heavy infantry nearby to defend your archers uh, but the general for, for Sicily is a little banged up. Again, if he dies, it's not a huge deal. But, you know, for cinematic reasons, I guess. For role-playing reasons, you don't really want your general to die. I hate when my general dies. And then we've got two more healthy units of Pavis over here. Uh, what they're doing is they're trying to weaken the defenses as much as possible. And look how many kills they've got here on the broken lances. That is ridiculous. And there's really nothing they can do about it. I mean, they can try to be aggressive here. But if they leave this town center, it's not really going to be pretty for them. Uh, but finally, uh, Portugal sent forward some dismounted conquistadors to, to scare off. Oh, what was that? Okay, so... He accidentally destroyed that trebuchet, I guess. I don't think that was his trebuchet. Um, but yeah, he's just going to continue to fire here and try to uh, try to really weaken the defenses before he charges in his infantry, which is always a smart idea. And look at this. They're, they're just trying to escape the archer fire the best they can. Oh, look at that volley. Man, they're really trying to put pressure on the remaining last defenders here. We're going to go ahead and fast forward again. Uh, Papal State sending forward their trebuchet crew, uh, but Portugal, he, he's just, he's just going to send up his spearmen to protect his archers, and I think we're actually going to get a charge here. Yep. All right. So this is this is where the infantry picks up again. The battle picks up again, and look at that charge from the Norman knights. He's got these spearmen out of position. The pikemen are out of position. Look at that. They're dropping their pikes because they're kind of panicking here, and also it's a little like bug where the pikes are just. It's not really a bug, but Pikemen are just not really good at holding their pike formation. So he's going to retreat them out of there. Very wise by the Portuguese player. And he's going to send in the Conquistadors. So there we go. We have a small pocket of fighting here. They need to go ahead and march forward here and get rid of uh, these troops here. The Sicilian, Sicilian general, or not the Sicilian, but the Venetian general, uh, trying to get some kills. Trying to, uh, trying to bring some revenge avenge his army make it so his army didn't die in vain but that's a very brave stand here by the Norman Knights and there's still a lot of reserves over here so this is I mean it's looking pretty grim for the defenders but there's still a chance if you believe and you pray to the great juju of the mountain anything is possible 
anything. Uh, but now the conquistador conquistadors are charging in to silence the Muslim archers. We've got some broken lances charging forward. Try to defend the Muslim archers. And we have pikemen inching their way forward. And again, they're going to get out of position. They're probably going to drop their pikes. Uh, but come on, Portugal. Got to break through these troops if you want to win. That, that, is, that is lovely. And here's the general. The Portuguese general is in the spearman unit. The pikemen unit. And they are breaking. They are breaking, guys. So they're making some progress. But will the troops here, will this be enough to hold this settlement? I don't know why they've got them over here. They might as well just send them in the town center and get them in position. But we'll see what happens. Uh, we Okay, here comes some Normans to reinforce this line. Oh man, will the defenders hold or will they die? I'm sure we will find out soon enough. Over on this side, we just have one unit of broken lances holding back uh, this, this small horde, I guess you could call it of Portuguese and look at the the Venetian generals like come on guys stand around me protect me from archer fire it is pretty good that he's keeping his general alive uh, look at this papal states committing in his general and surprisingly I don't think a single general has died yet not one general has died but the papal states they're really uh, they're 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 walking on eggshells here they, their general could die right here He's pretty bloodied up. He's getting some kills, though. So, uh, you know, I tip my hat to him. And here comes another charge of feudal knights. That's going to be a tough force to deal with. And Sicily is just breaking over here. Oh, my God. Sicily, you have to hold. Okay, so here comes the final defense, the final stand. We've got the Papal Guard. We're a very fitting unit to defend this little section here. And he's going to throw them in on this this uh, this uh, choke point here. There they go. Look at that charge. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now the general the general's still alive, but his men are f are just falling. His men are getting cut down and look at him go just executing people. Way to go, Papal States. Here comes the Venetian general. He's going to finally join the fight. He's like, look, guys, I joined the fight right at the end. I'm such a hero. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so we have a retreating Papal Guard. It looks like Portuguese are, are adding some pressure here to the uh, defenders. Where is that general for Sicily? Where's the general's bodyguard? Uh, he's running over here. Look at this. They're playing a little cat and mouse game. Oh, and there goes the first general, the Papal States. Their general dies. But again, it's not a huge deal because they have infinite morale in the town center. And now they have to hold back these feudal knights. Brutal fight. A brutal fight indeed. The troops over here, I mean, the defenders are down to such low troops that they have Muslim archers fighting in melee. That's their only hope. And look at this huge, huge flank by the conquistadors. And uh, this is pretty much it for the defenders. And the poor Sicilian general, he can't even get back into the fight. Where is he? He's somewhere. There he is. He's charging this way. The buildings are burning. The general is just trying to do justice. And he's going to charge right into pikes. Why? And de <laughs> What? Why? He's dead instantly into the pikes. And now they're just closing in on the Papal Guard. And that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be the battle. And, you know, I think the most crucial part, the very most important part here, was that Cav flank over there. You know, it was kind of cool how Portugal executed this attack. It seemed like he was just, you know, sending everybody in into one choke point. These two choke points here. But once the Papal States started to feel comfortable and started committing all of their forces to hold this choke point, he left the choke points over here wide open and Portugal was able to send in his calf, flank around, cause fear in the, uh, the Papal 
the Papal State Infantry, and they just all broke instantly, and they were able to cut them down. Portugal was able to cut them down. So I think uh, Portugal, commanded by Super Badger 09, MVP of the game. And look at this, this, the Venetian general here. He's like, look, I'm a part of things. I'm doing things. I'm a hero. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, of course, when he becomes like a grandpa and he's, he's telling his grandkids about his most famous battle, he's like, yes, I was in the heat of the battle, constantly fighting off enemies. And I was in there with the final glorious charge and we turned the tide of battle. It's like, no, you weren't, you liar. Uh, but over here, the fight between Sicily and Venice, that was just a brutal fight where nobody really won. I mean, you could say that uh, the Sicilians won that battle, but they didn't really have a lot of troops left to... Uh, to defend the town center or the rest of the settlement so here's the results here Aussie rocker uh, Aussie rocker 45 getting 535 kills getting a very low amount of kills because remember he was outflanked uh, Nick 4.0 blood rage getting a getting the most kills Sicily did a great job defending the settlement great job against the Venetians uh, Venice doing a pretty solid job even though he lost most of his army there he killed a lot of troops and super badger not getting a lot of kills well he's getting a lot of kills but not as much as his uh, ally there but he got 200 prisoners and still I think super badger 09 MVP of the game Ozzy rocker was the person who sent in the battle replay so thank you so much for the battle replay it was a pretty epic battle I always love the snow battles there's always something special about them. it's kind of like snow Snow battles and desert battles. There's something cool about them. Uh, but if we look at uh, Ozzy Rocker's stats here, if we just kind of look at the units that did well, I think the highest amount of kills was Pavi's crossbows. And look at that. He only brought two of them. Imagine if he brought four Pavi's crossbows. He would get a lot more kills. And also, his Fetal Knights did pretty well. Most of them did pretty well. Broken Lances, not so much. Only getting like 25 kills. Uh, Papal Guard, though, 50 kills and 33, not too bad. Halberd Militia pretty much getting cut down instantly. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this siege battle. It was a lot of fun. And I will see you next time.